So the first section that we're going to be uh, talking about in uh, this course is section 2.6, which is the introduction to circles. Um, we'll come back to circles again later when we do ellipses, much later in the course. Um, but this is just a, well, circles are fairly simple. Uh, so this textbook kind of put it first in the list of topics that we actually cover in this course. So if you have a circle with center h comma k, with the coordinates h comma k, and uh, you pick a point on the circumference of the circle, x comma y, just pick any point, x comma y, on the circle, then you can form this little triangle, usually. There's four points on the circle where you can't form a triangle, but we'll discuss that in a minute. So you can form this little right triangle. And then if you can find, now the, the hypotenuse of that right triangle is the radius of the circle, notice. And so if you can find the, the lengths of the two sides, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find an equation for the circle. So that's the basic idea. So now this, this distance here is y minus k. Now, honestly, that's just because I made y bigger than k in my picture. Um, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be squaring that quantity anyway because it's the length of a leg of a, of a right triangle. So it's really the length is either y minus k or k minus y, depending on which is larger. I just didn't want to put an absolute value in there because we're going to square it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll just call that y minus k. And then this side is going to be x minus h. Same thing there. It could be h minus x, but we're going to square it so it doesn't matter. Um, and then we use the Pythagorean theorem. So by the Pythagorean theorem, or the theorem of Pythagoras if you want, if the center of a circle is h comma k and the radius is r, then the standard form for the equation of the circle, I should say the circle, is x minus h, the quantity squared, plus y minus k, the quantity squared, equals r squared. Okay, so it's just a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c is the radius. A is the x minus h, and B is the y minus k. Just the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, it's called the standard form, and you need to remember that because you'll have problems where they say, write the equation of the circle in standard form. They give it to you in some other form, and usually you have to do what's called completing the square to get it into this form. More on that later. So if you're given an equation in this form, it's pretty nice. We like this form because you can read off from here what the, what the center is of the circle and what the radius is, and then you can graph it if you want. So the x-coordinate of the center is where this quantity is zero. Now, honestly, I meant to put the brackets on the inside of the parentheses, but it doesn't really matter because when it's zero, uh, if you square it and it's zero, it's the same as if you look at the inside and it's zero. But you should think, when is the expression inside the parentheses equal to zero? And that will give you the, co the first coordinate of the center. And you do the same thing with the y coordinate here. The y coordinate of the center is where this quantity is zero. So you take y, mi y minus k, set it equal to zero, you get y equals k. Now you might say, why don't I just remember that it's the opposite of the sign of whatever number comes after the x? and the opposite of the sine of whatever number comes after y. Well, because there's some situations where it's not, and people get it confused, especially with the parabola. That's the infamous one where people start getting confused. Um, so this is just easier, and it works with any, uh, we'll see it works with any relation at all. Um, the same kind of thing works. It's either going to be the center does this, or the vertex does this, or some other important point does this. For us, it'll just be vertices and centers. Behaves the same way. 
So for example, find the equation of the circle with center two comma negative three and radius four. So this is a really easy problem. You just write x minus two squared plus y plus three squared. So the quantity x minus two squared or, or x minus two the quantity squared depending on how you say it and plus the quantity y plus three squared equals 16. And um, you can double check, and you should, that the, you got the center right. And usually if you get it wrong, it's because you got one of the signs wrong inside the parentheses. So you can check it, just set this quantity here, x minus two equal to zero, solve, and you get x equals two, and that's the x coordinate of the center. Set y plus three equal to zero, you get y equals negative three, and that's the y coordinate for the center. And then make sure you do the square root of this number here to get the radius. Or, I'm sorry, we're going the other way. <laughs> make sure you square the, this radius to put it here. People will forget the square because th this seems more complicated in our brains. And so the simpler thing is the thing that we're gonna mess up. So be careful of that. Maybe you write the radius squared first. I usually write it second though. <laughs>